Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a little bit of an astro alert. Saturn right now is squaring Pluto. That means a lot of fear and a lot of karma. And we've created a special series called Astro Extra, Saturn in Libra. Now, it's not free. We do charge for this, but it's over an hour video explaining where you are with Saturn, explaining what this is about, explaining the next full year, and explaining the tension you might be feeling right now. So if you're interested, come on down to soulground.tv, click on Soul Mart, and then Saturn Astro Extra. See you there. Hello Aries and welcome back from the weekend and I have to say thank you for logging in the Soul Garden. Sunny, romantic and fun today for the Rams. The moon is in Leo, when the Leo actually early Sunday morning depending on where you live on the planet and emotionally that puts focus on your heart chakra. Now if you don't know our heart chakra is the heart of our soul. It's where we love, it's our inner child. We talk about inner child work. So the moon, our emotions, focused on your inner child all day long. What you want to do is have fun. That's why I say romantic and fun. If you can be romantic, that's part of the heart. But if you can be creative or do something that you enjoy, do it. And if you're wondering, hmm, I, you know, I get a lot of clients off camera because I do personal readings, and I always ask them, what's fun for you? And they're like, well, reading is fun. Uh, reading is an escape. Reading isn't fun, <laughs> okay? Fun is when you're so excited you lose track of space and time. That's fun because you're in with God Universe. You're not focused on reality. So today, plug into God Universe, plug into the fun. Zip into the sun. Didn't mean to rhyme that, but it sure worked. The sun now is in chapter two of sun in Libra. The moon is ruling the day, so fun should rule your day. And now we began the process of creating and exploring with options when it comes to how to relate. That's what we're working on this month. That's what Rams will work on for the next 18 months until 2012. Relationships, particularly long-term partnerships as well. Now in chapter one, a lot of this deals with how you treat yourself. That's very important. By law of attraction, you be whatever you be comes, right? So you have to be the partner that you want to come. That's stage one. Here in stage two or chapter two, we're going to be working on what can be or what can't be. And today, since the moon is the ruling planet and the moon is focused on your heart chakra, today explore the possibilities of love and love leading you. And over the weekend, Mercury has now hopped over the border into Libra as well. This means two things. One, this means now you have your intellect to really focus and think deeply on the whole issue with long-term relationships. Second, it means you have finally officially graduated your health and lifestyle transit, which was a heavy one with the Sun and Saturn in Virgo in the last 30 days. So now you're done. You are completely done. There's going to be emotional fall through, but that's not going to be a big deal. And lastly, Mars and Venus are dead conjunct today in Scorpio. That means you're getting pregnant. Well, maybe literally, be careful, okay, because it's hitting you in the house of sex and intimacy. But it also means you are planting some major seeds right now when it comes to closeness, new comfort zones, new potentials for intimacy, and new boundaries. So pay aware or pay attention or be aware of that going on in the spiritual background. And it's Monday. We already have Chapter 2 of Sun in Libra with Meditation Vibration with Julie Zipper. She is on fire this month, and she is also a Libra rising, I must say, giving a guide to meditation, which means you don't have to go home, you don't have to close your eyes, you don't have to sit Indian style. All you got to do is click on the video, close your eyes, and go with Julie. She will guide you through it, through the Libra vibration, and creating harmony in your life. In your case, this applies to relationships. Okay, Ram, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, we're going to have emotional follow-through of this new lifestyle. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. So God.